is Zachary Stump. I play in the Omaha Symphony, and today we're going to be talking about the clarinet. So let's start with building the clarinet, because all this is one long piece, it's actually made up of several smaller parts. We're going to start from the bottom up. First we have the bell. Next we have the lower joint, and all these pieces just slide together. After that, we have the upper joint followed by the barrel. Kind of looks like a barrel. Fancy that. So these four pieces are all made out of wood. It's a special kind of wood called African blackwood. It's also called grenadilla wood. We use this wood because it's a little bit more stable and it doesn't crack quite as much as other woods. And that's good because we don't want our instruments to crack. A lot of student instruments are made out of plastic and you will find professional level instruments that are made out of different kinds of wood and they could be a different color than this. The keys are all metal and they're plated in, these are plated in silver. They can also be plated in nickel and sometimes you'll see them even plated in gold or rose gold. So with these four parts, I could make sound, but it doesn't sound that good. So what we need next is the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is not made out of wood, it's made out of hard rubber. This slides on top and then we need a reed. So the reed is made out of wood and they're commercially available. Clarinet players for the most part do not make their own reeds. And it's not a double reed instrument. A clarinet is a single reed instrument, unlike the oboe or bassoon. So the reed just lays on the mouthpiece like this. And now we need something to hold it in place. Historically, people would use string or twine, and just wrap it around it. Some people still do that, but I use a ligature that's made out of metal. So we slide the ligature over the reed tighten the screws, and we're good to go. So you might be wondering why I have two clarinets, and it's not because I'm a clarinet collector. It's actually because these are in two different keys. They're tuned differently. And without going into too much detail, the reason we have that is because it makes it easier for us to play in different keys. So now let's talk a little bit about the way sound is produced on the clarinet. Essentially what's happening is I'm blowing air across the reed, the reed starts to vibrate and that creates sound. I would think of it kind of like a, if you take a blade of grass and some people can take a blade of grass, put it between their thumbs, blow through it, the blade of grass starts to vibrate and it creates a sound. A similar thing is happening with the clarinet. I can actually take the mouthpiece off my clarinet and the mouthpiece and the reed alone will create sound. But it's just one pitch and it doesn't really sound that good. But if we add that to the whole instrument, we get the beautiful sound of the clarinet. Last, let's talk a little bit about what makes the clarinet special. So the clarinet is part of the woodwind family in the orchestra. The other woodwind instruments are the flute, the oboe, and the bassoon. And one thing that makes the clarinet stand out is that we have a very wide range. We can play low, kind of down in the bassoon register. We also have a very beautiful middle range. It's called the clarion. And a lot of the solos that you hear in the orchestra are written in this register. can play quite high. And believe it or not, we can even play higher than that. But I don't really know how, and I don't think you really want to hear it. So having this wide range allows us to be heard and be soloistic, but it also allows us to be a good supporting voice. And with that, another thing that makes us special is that we have a very wide dynamic range, meaning that we can play very full voiced, but we also can play very, very soft, almost too soft. Sometimes we have to be told not to play so soft. And that allows us to do some really cool effects like echo effects, which is something you'll hear relatively often in orchestra music. 
one last thing that's really cool about the clarinet is it's very diverse in the genres of music you'll find it. You'll find it in the orchestra, you'll find it in bands, but you'll also find it in things like jazz, klezmer, a lot of folk music uses clarinet, and other the other instruments in the woodwind family can be found in those genres, but it's really common to find clarinet, and that's pretty cool, and I think a lot of that just speaks to how versatile the instrument is. And now, a little bit from the finale of Weber's Clarinet Quintet.